everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome back to another episode of the Diamond Dimensions Mod Pack Modded Survival and today we are still inside this Lich Castle so last episode if you haven't seen it then go and check it out it's in the playlist of this Diamond Dimensions Modded Survival and up there we actually battled the Lich and won which was absolutely insane we got a Naga trophy from the previous boss that we've seen we also got the Lich trophy which is pretty damn cool I must say, um, and I asked you guys what you wanted me to do in this episode, and you really, really want me to clone the ram, so what I'm going to do is, I can't remember what it's called, is it needle? Yeah, it's a needle, um, what do I need for this? I need iron and gold, have I got that? I've got the iron, but have I got the gold, guys? I've got a block of gold, which I can turn into some gold, I think, if I just, I've got a crafting table as well, this is perfect, it's absolutely perfect, so it's a dangerous place to stay, I must admit, and I don't think there's anything else that we need to do in here, so what I'm going to do is make one of these needles, go back to the ram, and then um, we're going to clone that bad boy, so let's just put something else in, oh my god, this is so cluttered, and what you want me to do as well is make a bigger camping bag, let me just see what I need for that, because I can make, like, a large camping bag, and what do I need? I need, um, what do I need? I need, um, lots more canvas, and that is created by using string and stuff. I have loads of that at home. So we're going to make a trip home, and then we'll come back to, um, the Twilight Forest later, so that we can continue just, like, exploring it and finding cool stuff. Because I know there's still the Urgas to find, which should be cool. And there we go, there's an empty needle, and now we should be able to go and fight, um, not fight, we'll just kind of stab the ram and see if we can clone it. I think that would be absolutely mad if we can, to be honest, it would be so crazy. Um, let me just pick this up, here we go, let's pick this up and make our way out of here. Have I got any more food? I've still got hams, I need more food from home. The ham isn't the best really is it so let's go through here i'm gonna use this other sword and i've also oh yeah i forgot i've also installed another mod i've actually installed the enchanting plus mod because i've been playing a little bit of hexit just off screen just for funsies and um it is a very good mod the enchanting plus and what we need to do is recreate treoris that's the main reason of doing it so what we're gonna do is just come down here there's a nice mushroom here. I'm not sure we're going to need any of that, though. Make our way out of here and then go to the questing ram. I think this is where we came in. Yeah, it is. Let's go up here. And I'm not sure what else there is to find in here, to be honest. I don't think there's anything. So, well, in the in the castle, not the twilight forest, I mean by that. Um, come on, let's get up here. There we go. That's beautiful. And now we need to go and find the questing ram. We can just skip across the treetops and we should be good. This is awesome. It's going very well, and I really do hope that we can clone this ram. It'll be so epic to just have a ram by myself at home, just as a trophy. And another thing I really, really wanted to do was install the Dimensional Doors mod. And I tried that, but I'm having a bit of trouble with it for some reason. I'm not sure why, but um, it just crashes my mod pack when I try and upload it with um, Diamond Dimensions. I think it's to do with something... Well, I think it's something to do with Forge, but I'm not too sure. So I'm going to try that for next time, because I need a little bit more time to work on that. But yeah... Um, that would be really awesome. Some of you are asking me to make a museum, which I really do want to do, but I want to decide whether, if I can get dimensional doors working, I will put, um, the museum inside a dimension, because the dimensional doors mod, if you haven't seen my mod review on it, it will actually create pocket dimensions, so you go through a door and you're presented with, like, a little space. Oh, what's this? Let me just check this out and then I'll explain some more. Oh, it's a battle tower that's kind of glitched. It's kind of made out of, this is weird, it's a battle tower made out of the underground biome stuff, but, oh god, it did spawn, it did spawn. Um, let me just take this out, I don't want it to tree capitate though. Let me, you're blocking me, you're seriously blocking me. Wow, bread, um, that's, that's actually worth it. What can I get rid of? Let me just get rid of these first, oh god. I don't want to pick up the, the spawner though, if that works with silk touch, there we go. Um, what do I want, what did I want to grab? Oh god, there's people coming up. I don't, you know what, I don't need it that badly. <laughs> to be honest, I don't need it that badly. Let's go. Let's just go to the questing round. What I was saying was, it kind of creates a little pocket where you can create whatever you like inside this door. So in the overworld, it actually only takes up a tiny bit of space because it only takes up the space that is a door. And we can put that into our bedroom, which will look really cool. Just like the, um, the nether portal and the other portal we have. And we'll be just be able to like walk into it just like a wardrobe and then be able to go into our museum, which would be cool. So hopefully I can get that working. Um, let me know if you do want that to happen in the comments below, if I can get it working. And I'll try my best. I'll have to like downgrade my forge somehow. That'll be probably really tricky. I don't know if it will work, but I'm going to try it anyway because it's an awesome mod as well. It has lots of dungeons within it and has some cool uh, terrain generation and stuff like that. 
And yeah, let's do this. Let's try and quest this ram here. And I hear zombies. I hear zombies. Why is that? Anyway, let's eat this. Eat this hammer lamb. Actually, I'll save that. And the questing ram is unfortunately falling down this hole. So can we grab this? No, we can't. Guys, we can't. We can't clone the ram. Oh, wait. I took my own blood. No, I didn't want to do that. Why did I... Oh, my God. Why did I do that? Anyway, the ram does... He didn't like that at all. He's run off. And... Ow. Why? No, there's too much stuff down here. Why did you bring me down here, ram? Come on. It's not fair. This... Oh, my God. There's a lot of stuff down here. Back off. Back off, all of you. Right, the ram wasn't happy about that, to be honest. And I've taken my own blood, made myself weak, which is why those zombies took ages to kill. So, really unfortunate that I cannot clone the ram. That would have been epic. Wow, that would have been actually really epic. So, what I'm going to do now is... What are you holding there, sir? You're holding a blaze sword, I think. <laughs> um, did you drop it? I don't think you dropped it. But anyway, what we need to do is kind of explore more of the... Why did it have to give me hunger? Oh, I've got it for ages. What I want to do is kind of explore the more swords mod as well to try and get some pretty cool swords and some cool armors. We've got some some serious swords here. Look at this. We need to go back to the um, enchanted... No, what's it called? The... Uh, I've forgotten the name of it. God damn it. Anyway, while I'm thinking of the name of it, the Eternal Frost, that's it. I need to get back to my portal, which is too far away. Let's go back to camp and see if we can just grab our um, our stuff because we do need that back. Let's go and grab our stuff from our campsite and then we'll be able to um, head back to the portal, which is going to take forever. But hopefully we might come up across um, something else to investigate. But who knows? Something else we do want to do in here is find a labyrinth. So we're not done here yet. I just want to get Traoris ready as a sword and then um, head back here to try and find a labyrinth. I'm not sure if there's any like telltale signs to find one. There's no guaranteed way to find one. But I know that if you find like a structure that's um, above the ground and then go in it, you kind of fall into the labyrinth. And I really, really do want to find one of them. But I want to prepare myself first, obviously. Otherwise, we're going to get absolutely destroyed because there's a couple of bosses in there. I think there's like a minotaur and it's very, very difficult as well. Really, really difficult. So let's go along here. Um, come on, we can do this. Let's go to the camp. We're almost there, guys. I'm not wasting too much of your time. Here we go. The walk back to the, um, the portal is going to be absolutely insane. So what we're going to do is grab this. Oh, we've got a crafting table here as well. Can these stack? Who knows? They can stack. That's beautiful. Right, I need to pick this up somehow. Can I get my bag out of here first? Yes, I got it. Sweet. So I can rotate, I can rotate as well. And I picked up my tent. This is this is going well so far. I don't need I don't need this. There we go. Picked up the tent and here we go. Let's go. I also need to make another pick that isn't silk touch because that's just that's just unfortunate. I don't I don't need to have a silk touch pickaxe because what it does is just pick up the ores rather than me mining them. And I've come across way too many times so far where I've just needed to mine them and it's not great. It's not fun. So another thing I was thinking about doing as well is maybe trying to install the Nether mod again because I realized that the version I'm using right now is the old mod pack which is only in 1.5.1 and I think I was trying to add the ultimate Nether mod in 1.5.2 which is why it wasn't working but I might try and add that again but what I'd need to do is either delete my Nether and start the Nether again or we'd need to, um, what else would we need to do? We'd need to um, just kind of generate more things in the nether to try and go further and stuff like that. So let me know what you think about that too in the comments below. I'm slowly running out of food and I need to get to the portal. So I will cut it here and see whether I either come across something interesting or whether I get to the portal. Whichever one comes first. So let's do this, Rana. Come on, we can do this. Let's hope we don't get too hungry by the time we're there. So I'll see you in a second, guys. Right then, guys, I have made it back through to the homelands of the Diamond Dimensions, and my hunger actually held up pretty well. I'm fairly surprised at that, but here we go. Let's go through here. I also want to test out the crafting table, because I'm not sure whether you have to make a new crafting table, or just right-click a ordinary crafting table, and you should be able to do it. But um, here we go. Let's try this out now. Um, right-click. Nope, that's a torch. How did I place a torch in there? Um, hello? Hello? Um, let me try this a second. Here we go. Come on, I need to pick this up. Let's not mess around now, Firefly. Come on. Right, let's pick this up and put the Fireflies back down. And I guess put this back down again and see what happens. There we go. That's better. Beautiful. So we've got our experience level, which is 37, our enchanting cost. And which one shall we upgrade? We've kind of got two. I kind of want to, like, 
Oh, I don't know. We've got smites. We can take off enchantments as well, which is really awesome. And we can add stuff to it, but I can't really remember what there was. Well, this one's got a lot more in it. Why is there only like... I don't know why there's only like three of them. If you know what... Oh, no. Where did my sword go? Oh, my God. That was that was scary. Right. <laughs> um, can we read these now? We can't even uh, enchant that. No. Um, let me just see if I can read. No, I can't. Do I need, like, more... I don't know what I need, because that's not all the enchantments you can put on a diamond sword. I know that. Unless I take these off, and then... Oh, God, I don't know what to do. I've got fire aspect, looting, unbreaking. I need something that will, um... Just make it better for me to grab the... What's it called? From... The Wither Skeleton Heads, because we do want to fight the Wither sometime down the line, which I keep on saying, which I keep on not doing. I need to make another chest, because <laughs> I've just got so much stuff to, to do now. Wow, um, I'm back at home. I need to enchant to get Treoris back. Honestly, can't remember what enchantments he had, so we're just going to kind of create a Treoris 2.0. I desperately need some food, and I need another chest. So let's grab... Oh, we've already got some wood, and let's make a chest. I think I might need to make a trapped chest so I can put it just here. And how do you make one of those again? I can't remember. Trapped chest requires a tripwire hook, which requires a stick and a piece of iron. So I think I've got those. And I, oh, we also need to place our trophies. That'll be really cool as well. Um, right, let's put some camping stuff back. We need to put back the tent and this and this for now. We also need to make a bigger camping bag. I've got just a man random vial of my blood. I'm really disappointed that we can't recreate the ram. Oh, that'd be good. If I had a lead in this Minecraft, if it was 1.6, I could drag him all the way home. But um, I can't, unfortunately. So that's how that's going to have to be. Um, what kind of chests have we got here? We've got our egg chest still going strong. We've got um, the die chest. Oh, no. Um, okay. Stop that. Let's put these upstairs. These could look pretty, pretty snazzy upstairs. Let's put one. No, I didn't want to put it there. Let's put one there. Let's put one here. Here, and let's put, let's put a couple around. This looks pretty cool. I like this. This is sweet. Um, where else can we put them? Just up there. No, I, that, that'll do, I think. That'll do. Right, there we go. There's some bugs for us. We need to eat. Come on, Daniel. We need to eat. We need to eat. There's nothing in there. There's... Oh, my God. We need to cook this. Come on. Let's get our chef, chef hats on. We can cook two at a time, which is awesome. Where did I put all this stuff? Um, we got bread will do. This frozen bread, I bet it tastes beautiful, all frozen and stuff. So let's take this, eat it all up. There we go, we're full again. Thank God for that. And right, I need a plan of action, otherwise I'm just going to get confused. I need to store my trophies. I need to make a bigger um, camping bag. What I was doing was making a tripwire hook. So if I grab these and that's a furnace. I think my crafting table used to be there. So here we go. Let's make some sticks. And then we need that. Is it like this? I can't remember. Nope. Uh, tripwire hook. It's the other way around. There we go. Some tripwire hooks. And then we can make a chest. And then we need to combine that chest with a tripwire hook. And we'll get a trap chest. There we go. Um, let me just throw these out for a sec. And we can make that trap chest and put it just here. There we go. Beautiful. Now we can start shoving stuff in this chest. I don't really care what it is. We've also got the crumble horn. Got some more books. I'll keep the iron in here. Actually, you know what? <laughs> There's so much stuff in here. I need to take that out. Let's take some stuff out we don't really want in this chest. That's uh, I can make that into iron. I can make this into gold. This is a lot of organizing. I always seem to be doing this. Come on, grab this for me. Grab it. Grab it. Um, we can put that back, that back. Uh, what else have we got that we can take out of here? Let's just take the saddle out for now. I do want to get a pet pig because that would be absolutely beautiful. Um, we can put just stuff like this in here, just random like ender pearls and stuff. Actually, ender pearls will be fine in there. Uh, what can I shove in here for now? Got a book and quill. We also got a diamond hoe, um, some oaks. We got a zombie scepter. I completely forgot about that. A swiftness potion. I don't know what to do with that zombie scepter. I need to look it up, really. Um, I might just kind of right-click it and see what happens, but that's kind of dangerous <laughs> at the same time. So we need to remember that these are both kind of valuable chests as well. Um, we can put that in there. The coal ore. I need to make another pickaxe. I need to make... Oh, I don't know. There's so much stuff to do. So much stuff to do. I don't want them in there. Come on. 
We've got a lever in there, which is handy. A lapis block. That can go in the valuables chest. This can go in here. Um, fire aspect 2. That's pretty good. Yeah, we need to start displaying this stuff now. So we need to... What was my other thing I wanted to do? I wanted to recreate Traoris. And then I wanted to go back to the Twilight Forest to try and find a, what's it called, an underground um, labyrinth. Whew, there's so much to do. Right, I can put these shears into here. No, no, yeah, into there. Because they're brand new. Um, the coal ore, I need to make another, do you reckon I can make another diamond pick? Yes, I think, I think I've got enough diamonds for that. think I've got enough. So let's put that. And I need to make something, I think there's something I can do to make... Like a really high looting sword so that I can just um, go into the nether. That's another thing, a nether thing. So we can go to collect loads of wither skulls. I couldn't grab... Oh, what? oh my god, this is... My brain, my brain, it's hurting right now. Alright, let's find some things to display what I want to display. So let's take these off and go for um, the bibliocraft stuff. Where are you? Where art thou, bibliocraft stuff? Show me, show me the goodness. Here we go. We've got um, a tool rack, but I'm not sure how much you can fit inside that tool rack. We've got some desks, armor stands, the normal cases that we used before. Um, I think let's try a tool rack. I'm not sure what you can actually put in the tool rack. Let me see what, what's going on upstairs so far, and then we can work out what's going on. So up here we have this little rack here, and oh, what do these trophies look like? Can I pick them up again? So let's put this one there. Yes, I can pick them up again. So I can actually, like, put these places. Yes. Um, what other one did I get? I got the Naga. Oh, another camping bag. That's what I was trying to remember. And we've got some more cool stuff here. So we've got a diamond block, which I can make into diamonds. There goes the diamonds. All right, let's take this stuff out. Naga scale, so I can make Naga armor, or at least a piece of Naga armor, and that'll look, that'll look insane. We can add some enchantments to it and stuff. Because our hat and boots are kind of like the best things. And then we can add stuff to it afterwards. And right, let's place these guys before I get distracted. I'm going to try and cut out some of this stuff so it doesn't get too, like, aggressive. The Naga one, what do you look like? Oh, you're just like a Naga head. That's beautiful. Look at those. <laughs> I don't know if we can put them on a shelf or something. But I'm going to try and make a tool rack. Where are these tool racks? We need slabs and a piece of iron. That's fine. That's easy. It's easy. Come on. We can, <laughs> we can do this. Uh, where is the slabs? Here are some slabs. And we've got some iron in this chest. We just need the one for now. Just to see what they look like. I'm not sure what they're going to look like at all. So let's grab this. Put that in the middle and make a tool rack. What do you look like, Mr. Tool Rack? Um, and what can you put inside? We can put a hoe in there. Oh, it's kind of like that. Can we put... like? Oh, oh God. Um, can we put... Can we put this in there? We can put that in there. Can we put the crumble horn in there? We can't put the crumble horn in there. Ah, we can put the zombie scepter though. Right, okay, that's fine. We can grab this guy and we're going to put the zombie scepter in there. And we're also going to put uh, the other Geb's blessing. Because I think the other one we put at the top. Yeah, we did. So let's put this. Where should we put this? Let's put this here. And then we can add... Um, Geb's Blessing and the Zombie Scepter for now. I think the Zombie Scepter actually spawns in zombies around you. And I don't really want to use it yet, to be honest. So, oh god, I don't want to do that. Come on. Let me let me place something else in here. I think I need an empty hand. Alright, let's put those like that. Um, what can we make from the Naga Armor? We can make a tunic which has fire protection... And we can also make leggings, which have just normal protection. So I think I'm going to make the leggings. Yeah, let's make the leggings. Let's do that. We're making some really cool, like, some cool things here. Let's go for this. There we go. Naga scale protection. I'm not sure how good they are. That's good enough for me. Look at... Oh, yes. Looking beautiful. We've only got four left, though, which is unfortunate. We can't... We can't... What's this? Naga stone... Yeah, that's it. That's fine. Um, what else do we need to do? We need to make some canvas. So we need our string from here. We also need our camping tool, which is in here. Can make some more canvas to make a bigger bag. So let's go for a canvas. We just need... Okay, we can make 10 with that. That's nice. That is nice. Let's grab this and do that. Make 10 canvas. And now we can just make sure that our bag is empty. And then we should be able to make... Some bigger bags, which we definitely need because, you know, I'm just really bad at this. 
Uh, normal camping bag, store more. And we can make... Oh, what, what's the size of this one? Nice, nice, nice. I like that. And we can also make um, a bigger one if we just grab some more string. Oh, we've got some more string already. And we can just make some more canvas. Uh, do this and then grab the campus tool. Put that down like that. And we'll be able to have an absolutely huge camping bag. Yes. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> Hiking trip. That's what I'm talking about. How big is this guy? It's like an extra inventory. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's put this canvas in here. Um, put these back. I also want to I want to try out this crumble horn as well because apparently it's super awesome because it has a lot of uses and we can just go back and try it. So let's try this. And then the goal of this episode is to just get kitted up to go back to the Twilight Forest and find a labyrinth. And then what we can do is um, the other goal of this episode is to recreate Treoris because we all know we need that guy back. I'm not sure we'll get the same enchantments, but still. So let's right click and... Oh god, what's going on? No. It's kind of making a sheep sound. Um, what happened? <laughs> I'm just firing sheep sounds. It's supposed to make the, the ground crumble beneath you. But I don't think that's happening. No, no, what are you doing? Nothing's happening. Okay, we're just going to display this bad boy and then go to sleep. So we're going to go to sleep. And the plan is to then go to the enchanting table and recreate Treoris. I'm going to see if I can combine these two in the anvil first, because I think you can do that. I think you can do that, but I'm not too sure. Um, let's go through here and go to sleep. Go to sleep. I really hope that I can get the dimension mod working, the dimensional doors mod, because I really want to create a better museum than this. And maybe there's a better way to do, display these tools as well, because I like these. These are really cool. Um, and I like the armor stands, but we need to collect more of this armor. There's just, there's so much to do, so much to do. And we've got, yeah, we could put the dimensional doors right here. That would be perfect. So perfect. But anyway, we need to display the crumble horn. So what do we need to do? Let's grab another one of these. I think we need some, I th no, you know what? I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted. Let's recreate Treoris first because that is a must do. It's an absolute must. And here we go. Let's go up. The fireflies are looking pretty damn sweet. Look at these. Beautiful. All right, let's go here and see if we can... What was that? What was that? Was that Rana? Rana, hello. Are you here? Are you with us? Yes, she's with us. It's fine. All right, can we combine these two? Too expensive. It's probably because I don't think you can have smite and sharpness on the same one. Who knows? All right, let's go through here. And it looks like we're just going to have to create one sword. What can we do in here? Oh, uh, we got focus. I don't really know what focus does. Soul tether, sharpness, knockback, fire aspect, looting, unbreaking, and stealth. So if I take off soul tether, because I don't think I need that, and take off focus, we get five levels back, which is really cool. And then we can add uh, sharpness five. We can add, l oh god, not knockback. We want, oh no, we want looting all the way to the top. And that will only cost us 14 levels. Can we add unbreaking... Three? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I, I do want to kind of... Right, wait a second. Wait a second. Let's see what swords we can make um, in the more swords mod. Because we've got some seriously cool mods in this one. And... You know what? You know what? I don't know what to do. Master sword, aqueous sword, molten sword. I don't think any of these are like better than diamond apart from this one, maybe. It does. It needs two diamonds, two obsidian, and two iron. Which is more expensive... But I'm not sure if you're going to need it. We've got an eye end sword, which needs four diamond, two eyes of enders. We then got crystals and stuff from the... You know what? Let's just let's just make Treoris again. He was a diamond sword to begin with. So let's do this. I think I'm just going to let that one die. We need to take focus off, soul tether off, um, add sharpness to the maximum. And then we can add uh, looting to the maximum. So that's looting three. And then what else was it? Unbreaking as well. And then we can enchant that. And now we've got Unbreaking 3, Sharpness 5, and Looting 3. Oh, wow. That is amazing. That is so cool. Can we enchant these as well? It's really cool that you can take enchantments off. Oh, yes, we can. We've got Thorns. We've got Unbreaking, Fiery Aura, and Soul Tether. How much will it be for Thorns? I might put that on my chest plate instead. Let's do that. Let's do that. So I really like that it's not so random anymore. It's really cool. So I can, t I can kind of add Fire Protection. Let's add Thorns. I want three. I want fawns three. Give me fawns three. 
I want Thorns 3. Can you not get Thorns 3? Or it might be too expensive. Right, um, Unbreaking isn't too bad. So we got... Oh, it didn't even work. Oh, I didn't, I didn't press E. Um, right. I'm sure you can get Thorns 3. Let's enchant that. And now we have three levels left. We've got Thorns, which is really cool. We've got Protection 3. And we're ready to boss this. We need to rename this sword as well. Let's rename it to Treoris, and then we're done with the episode, I think. It's been a really cool setup episode, but next time we'll be going for an amazing, amazing trick. So we need Trey. Oh, how long is it? Oh, it's going to... Oh, man, it's going to cost me so much. Treoris the second is going to cost me 36 levels. Why? I should have just renamed it before it was any of these. What if I... You know what, let's try something really quick before the end of the episode. Can I take the enchantments off and then put them back on? What if I took all of these off? How many levels would I get back? So it would just be like a normal sword. I'd get 22 levels back. I don't think that's going to work. You know what, no, it's fine. We're just going to have to collect the levels up when we go to the Twilight Forest and rename it. But officially, Treyarch the Second isn't born. But look at this. Look at this. So that is going to be pretty much it for this week's episode. Um, I think I also want to take on a battle tower soon as well to get some loots. And yeah, that is going to be pretty much it for me. So thanks a lot for watching this episode. Sorry it wasn't too action-packed, but we did try and clone the ram. We did get some Naga arm, and we set up ourselves pretty damn well for the next episode, which is going to include battle towers and more fighting in the Twilight Forest. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you do have any um, tips and stuff for being able to find the um, two new structures in the Twilight Forest, which is the... Mainly the labyrinth is what I want to find, but there's also the Ergast Tower as well. So, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If we can hit 2,000 likes on this episode, that would be absolutely amazing. Every like is completely appreciated. And if this happens to be the first video that you've seen by me, then please do consider hitting that subscribe button for daily Minecraft videos and all this fun stuff that we do on a daily basis. So, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I think that's pretty much it. So I will see you all next time. Goodbye! everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome back to another episode of the Diamond Dimensions Mod Pack Modded Survival and today we are still inside this Lich Castle so last episode if you haven't seen it then go and check it out it's in the playlist of this Diamond Dimensions Modded Survival and up there we actually battled the Lich and one, which was absolutely insane. We got a Naga trophy from the previous boss that we've seen. We also got the Lich trophy, which is pretty damn cool, I must say. Um, and I asked you guys what you wanted me to do in this episode. And you really, really want me to clone the Ram. So what I'm going to do is... I can't remember what it's called. Is it Needle? Yeah, it's a Needle. Um, what do I need for this? I need Iron and Gold. Have I got that? I've got the Iron, but have I got the Gold, guys? I've got a block of gold, which I can turn into some gold, I think, if I just... I've got a crafting table as well. This is perfect. It's absolutely perfect. So, it's a dangerous place to stay, I must admit. And I don't think there's anything else that we need to do in here. So, what I'm going to do is make one of these needles, go back to the ram, and then um, we're going to clone that bad boy. So, let's just put something else in. Oh, my God. This is so cluttered. And what you want me to do as well is make a bigger camping bag. Let me just see what I need for that. Because I can make, like, a large camping bag. And what do I need? I need... Um, what do I need? I need um, lots more canvas. And that is created by using string and stuff. I have loads of that at home. So we're going to make a trip home. And then we'll come back to um, the Twilight Forest later. So that we can continue just, like, exploring it and finding cool stuff. Because I know there's still the Urgast to find, which should be cool. And there we go. There's an empty needle. And now we should be able... To go and fight, um, not fight, we'll just kind of stab the ram and see if we can clone it. I think that would be absolutely mad if we can, to be honest. It would be so crazy. Um, let me just pick this up. Here we go. Let's pick this up and make our way out of here. Have I got any more food? I've still got hams. I need more food from home. The ham isn't the best, really, is it? So let's go through here. I'm going to use this other sword. And I've also, oh yeah, I forgot. I've also installed another mod. I've actually installed the Enchanting Plus mod because I've been playing a little bit of Hexit just off screen just for funsies and um, it is a very good mod, the Enchanting Plus and what we need to do is recreate Treoris. That's the main reason of doing it so what we're going to do is just come down here 
There's a nice mushroom here. I'm not sure we're going to need any of that, though. Make our way out of here and then go to the questing ram. I think this is where we came in. Yeah, it is. Let's go up here. And I'm not sure what else there is to find in here, to be honest. I don't think there's anything. So, well, in the in the castle, not the Twilight Forest, I mean by that. Um, come on, let's get up here. There we go. That's beautiful. And now we need to go and find the questing ram. We can just skip across the treetops and we should be good. This is awesome. It's going very well. And I really do hope that we can clone this ram. It'll be so epic to just have a ram by myself at home just as a trophy and another thing I really really wanted to do was install the dimensional doors mod and I tried that but I'm having a bit of trouble with it for some reason I'm not sure why but um it just crashes my mod pack when I try and upload it with um diamond dimensions I think it's to do with something well I think it's something to do with forge but I'm not too sure so I'm gonna try that for next time because I need a little bit more time to work on that but yeah um, that would be really awesome. Some of you are asking me to make a museum, which I really do want to do, but I want to decide whether, if I can get dimensional doors working, I will put, um, the museum inside a dimension, because the dimensional doors mod, if you haven't seen my mod review on it, it will actually create pocket dimensions, so you go through a door and you're presented with, like, a little space. Oh, what's this? Let me just check this out and then I'll explain some more. Oh, it's a battle tower that's kind of glitched. It's kind of made out of, this is weird, it's a battle tower made out of the underground biome stuff. But, oh god, it did spawn, it did spawn. Um, let me just take this out, I don't want it to tree-capitate though. Let me, you're blocking me, you're seriously blocking me. Wow, bread, um, that's, that's actually worth it. What can I get rid of? Let me just get rid of these first, oh god. I don't want to pick up the, the spawner though, if that works with silk touch, there we go. Um, what do I want, what did I want to grab? Oh god, there's people coming up. I don't, you know what, I don't need it that badly. <laughs> to be honest, I don't need it that badly. Let's go. Let's just go to the questing ram. What I was saying was, it kind of creates a little pocket where you can create whatever you like inside this door. So in the overworld, it actually only takes up a tiny bit of space because it only takes up the space that is a door. And we can put that into our bedroom, which will look really cool. Just like the, um, the nether portal and the other portal we have. And we'll be, just be able to like walk into it just like a wardrobe and then be able to go into our museum, which would be cool. So hopefully I can get that working. Um, let me know if you do want that to happen in the comments below, if I can get it working. And I'll try my best. I have to 